Hey there, I'm Dr. Anthony Gustin. And I'm Chris Irvin. This is question number 181 of 268 questions that okay. we've put in the Keto Answers book, which mm -hmm. is basically everything that we've gotten over the last three, four, or five years. We've condensed it all and answered every single question you'd ever have about the ketogenic diet. Yeah, so the question that we're diving into in this video is what is a nootropic or nootropic? People kind of pronounce it differently, but yeah. what is it? And so this is the reason why we included it in this book. And I mean, we give a lot of different examples of, of different types of nootropics in the book. But ketones are, I think, a nootropic. But a nootropic is anything that enhances the performance of your brain. Yeah, so there's a lot of things on the market now that are being marketed as nootropics. Um, but essentially, there, and you know, we can kind of classify these as different things. There's uh, legal compounds that you can take, like more natural nootropics, and then there's synthetic nootropics, uh, most of which are uh, usually like prescription based or something like that. But essentially, the, the easiest way to look at these are there anything that can enhance your brain function? Yeah, or alter it. So, like you said, some are illegal, some are not. There's natural ones, but there's also artificial ones. I mean, one that everybody knows of, caffeine, mm -hmm. I would say, would be a nootropic. So, yeah. it you know, blocks an adenosine receptor in your brain. It basically tells your body that it's not as tired as it should be. So mm -hmm. when adenosine attaches to a certain receptor in your brain, then you start getting sleepy. Mm -hmm. Caffeine goes in that and attaches to that and changes that receptor. receptor. And so there's receptor-mediated nootropics. So it changes the actual way that your brain functions. And then there's supportive ones, for instance, choline, which are also found in agates. You can take it as a supplement. That, instead of blocking a receptor, actually helps your body you know, fire nerves in between, you know, nerve endings in between each other. So you have acetylcholine, then you have choline esterases. Basically, having more choline helps your brain fire more. So with nootropics, there are ones that we can, you know, take more frequently, ones that we can probably take on a day-to-day -day basis that can enhance our brain function. And then there's other ones that we probably don't want to be taking as frequently because we can become a little bit more dependent on those. Um, and, you know, a good way to look at it is typically a lot of the more natural ones are probably safer to take more frequently. Generally speaking, there's a couple that don't fall into that category. And more, more of the synthetic ones are ones that can typically cause a little bit more dependencies and may um, cause some, you know, longer term problems if we're taking them too frequently. So in the book, like we said, we're going to break down a lot of the most common nootropics and talk about which ones we recommend taking and, and how to stack them and how to test which one works best for you. If you're looking to simplify everything you need to know about the world's most confusing diet, head on over to Amazon.com and pick up Keto Answers today. The best part about it is that you're not just getting basic information. It's almost like you're getting a tiny little version of me and Chris shrunk down, put in your pocket to answer every question you have along your way. And that's not weird. It's beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best.